I bring you down by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bring you down by the power in the blood of Jesus. As I enter into this prayer meeting, oh Lord, my Father, let all my afflictors fall down and die in the name of Jesus. As I enter into this prayer meeting, all the afflictors of my soul, all the afflictors of my wife's soul, all the afflict afflictors of my children's souls fall down and die, fall down and die, fall down and die, fall down and die, fall down and die. In the name of the afflictors of my soul, fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power afflicting my soul, every power afflicting my wife's soul, every power afflicting my children's soul, I command you to die. 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 In the name of Jesus, there is no any other name like the name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of the things in heaven, on earth, underneath the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord Jesus, arise in your power and fight every power that is fighting me in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, arise in your power and fight every power that is fighting me in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, arise in your power. Fight every power that is fighting me in this prayer meeting. Fight every power that is fighting me in this prayer meeting. Fight every power that is fighting me in this prayer meeting. Fight every power that is fighting me in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, Ramasha Today, in today's warfare, I shall win every battle by the power and the blood of Jesus. Somebody is there. I want you to pray. Say, in today's warfare, I shall win every battle by the power and the blood of Jesus. In today's warfare, I, my wife, and my children shall win every battle by the power and the blood of Jesus. We shall win every battle by the power and the blood of Jesus. In this warfare today, on this battleground today, on this battlefield today, I shall win every battle by the power and the blood of Jesus. My wife and my children shall win every battle in the name of Jesus. My family and my descendants shall win every battle today in the name of Jesus. My shakatara baba, the Bible says, I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. Today in this prayer meeting, I win every battle. Every battle going on in my life, I win you today by the power and the blood of Jesus. I win you today by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every battle going on in my life, going on in my wife's life, going on in my children's life, we win you today by the power and the blood of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and say, say, I win every battle going on in my life today by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I win every battle going on in my life today by the the power and the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I win every battle going on in my life today by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every power foiling the battles of my life fall down and die in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, every power foiling mashakara baba liburia. Every power foiling the battles of my life fall down and die. 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 In the name of Jesus, every power. Power foiling the battles of my life, foiling the battles of my wife's life, foiling the battles of my children's lives. What are you waiting for in this prayer meeting? You are going down, 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 you are going down. You must fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power in my father's house, every power in my mother's house, every power in my lost house, every power in my place of birth that is foiling the battles of my life, you must die, 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 you must die. You are going down in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power foiling my problems, foiling my troubles, you are going down in this prayer meeting. You are going down in this prayer meeting. You are going down in this prayer meeting. By the power in the blood of Jesus, my shakatara baba. Ah, my father, my God, for all that you have done for me, I will never be ungrateful. I will never be ungrateful. Father, I am grateful for every blessing, for every miracle, for every sign and wonder that you have done in my life. My Lord and my Father, I am very grateful for every sign and wonder that you have done in my wife's life, in my children's life, in my home, in my descendant, in my career, in my calling, in my ministry, in my finances. 
Oh, Father, Lord, I bless your holy name. Father, I am grateful. I am grateful for the gift of life. I am grateful, Lord. I am in good health. My wife is in good health. My children are in good health. Father, Lord God, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. In the name of Jesus. Somebody said, I'm going to say, every power that wants me dead, you are going down in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that wants me dead, you are going down in this prayer meeting in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me dead, that wants my wife dead, that wants my children dead, you are going down in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. You are going down in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. Why? Because the blood of Jesus has made me whole. The blood of Jesus has made me whole. The blood of Jesus has made my wife whole. The blood of Jesus has made my children whole. That is why you cannot bring us down. That is why you cannot kill us. Every power that wants me down, you are a liar. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me down, that wants my wife down, that wants my children down, you are a liar. For that, 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 in the name of every power. Somebody is in this family. Every power that wants you down shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants you to be crawling instead of instead of flying, they shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. So you are going to pray for yourself. Say every power that wants me to be crawling instead of flying. What are you waiting for? Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Every power that wants me to continue to crawl instead of flying, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we bless your holy name. Oh, you are worthy to be praised to Lord. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be magnified to Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. Somebody said to me, you are a high flyer. You are a high flyer, but they don't want you to fly. They don't want you to fly. Say, I am a high flyer. Every power that will not allow me to fly high, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, I am a high flyer. My wife and my children, they are high flyers. Any power that will not allow us to fly, fall down, fall down. As an antelope, out of the hand of the hunter. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 5. Deliver yourself. You are a high flyer. You are a high flyer. You are a mountain top candidate. But they don't want you to fly. You are going to pray. Any power that will not allow me to fly high, hear the judgment of the Lord. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power that will not allow me, that will not allow my wife, that will not allow my children to fly high, fall down and die, 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 fall down and die. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. It is the Bible that said it. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 5. It said, Deliver yourself as a roe, as an antelope, as a deer, out of the hand of the desperate hunter. Mashaka Yababa. Any power that will not allow me to fly high, fall down and die, 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 fall down and die. Ah! I am a candidate of the mountain top. I am a candidate of the mountain top. My wife and my children are candidates of the mountain top. We will no longer dwell in the valley. We will no longer dwell in the valley. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mashakaya Baba Lepori Baba. I want you to pray. Say powers that want me to die in the valley of life. Powers that want me to die in the valley of life. You are a liar. Die, 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 die. my wife that wants my children to die in the valley of life no you are a liar you are you are dying that 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 you are welcome to this prayer meeting in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy spirit the only reason why you are here today is because you are a high flyer that is the only reason why you are here today every power 
that will not allow you to fly high shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that will not allow you to fly high, they shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that will not allow you, they allow you to fly small, small. But they said, no, you cannot get to the mountain top. No, they put a barrier. They say you cannot go beyond this particular level. You cannot fly higher than this. You cannot fly higher than your father. You cannot fly higher than your mother. You are somebody say you are going to open your mouth loud and clear. Say powers that will not allow me to fly higher than my father. That will not allow me to fly higher than my mother. You are a liar. Die by fire. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Powers that will not allow me. That will not allow my wife and my children to fly higher than our parents. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, you are going to pray. Any evil pattern of my father's house that will not allow me to fly higher than my father. Any evil pattern of my father's house that will not allow me to fly higher, to soar higher than my father. Scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any evil pattern in my foundation that will not allow me to fly higher than my father. That will not allow me to fly higher than my mother. That will not allow my wife to fly higher than her parents. That will not allow my children to fly higher than their parents. I command that evil pattern to die and scatter, 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 die and scatter in the name of Jesus. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Please continue to like this page, continue to love this page, continue to share this page, continue to make watch party with this page. Amen. So that God can use you as an evangelist, able to evangelize the world. Hallelujah. Hariba Sakata. I was in counseling this morning. The kind of story I had, I said, Jehovah, we need prayer. You are going to pray again. Say, powers that wants me to die crawling. Powers. That wants me to die crawling. You are a liar. Die by fire. 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 In the name of any power that wants me, that wants my wife, that wants my children to die crawling. They don't even want us to walk. They don't want us to fly. I you are a liar. Die by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, you have been crawling for years. You have been crawling for years. You have been crawling for years. You are in this prayer meeting. In fact, you just joined this prayer meeting now. As, as you were flipping through your phone, through your Facebook, you just saw my face. Hallelujah. You have been crawling for years. Marikasa, every power that is behind your crawling, I command them to fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every power that is behind your crawling in life, I command them to fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every power that is responsible for your crawling in life, I command them to die. 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 Command them to die. Every power that says you will crawl for the rest of your life shall fall down and die. By the power and the blood of Jesus, you are listening to the sound of my voice. Every power that says you will crawl to, for the rest of your life, they will fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every power that says you will crawl for the rest of your life, then how can you be different from every other person in your father's house? Yes, every evil pattern that wants you to crawl for the rest of your life shall die and scatter in the name of Jesus. Every evil pattern that wants you to crawl for the rest of your life shall die and scatter, shall die and scatter, shall die and scatter, shall die and scatter, shall die and scatter. Yes, your life will not go in the way of your father. Your life will not go in the way of your mother. In the name of Jesus, that evil pattern that wants to tie you down to the same spot, I command it to scatter 
by the power in the blood of Jesus. That evil pattern that wants to tie you to the same spot, that tied your father to the same spot, that tied your mother to the same spot, that wants to tie you to the same spot. I say, die and scatter, 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 die and scatter. For in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody says, failures of my father's house, challenging my success in life. Failures of my father's house, challenging my success in life. What are you waiting for? Scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Failures of my father's house. Failures of my wife's father's house. Failures of my children's father's house. That is challenging our success in life. That is challenging the success that Jehovah has given to us. Scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus, scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus, scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus, scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus, scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus, scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Rabba Shaka Tarababa. I refuse to be a failure. I will succeed more than my father. In the name of Jesus, I will succeed more than my mother. My wife will succeed more than her father, more than her mother. My children will succeed more than their father, more than their mother. In the mighty name of Jesus, every failure of my father's house, I reject you today. I command you to die. In the name of Jesus, every failure of my father's house, every failure of my mother's house, every failure of my in-law's house, every failure of my place of birth, and my wife and my children reject you today by the power in the blood of Jesus, we command you to die. We reject you today. We command you to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody is here, pray this way. Say, strong man, supervising failure in my life. Strong man, supervising failure in my life. What are you waiting for? Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every strong man of darkness, every strong woman of darkness that is supervising failure in my life, that is supervising failure in my wife's life, that is supervising failure in my children's lives, what are you waiting for? Fall down, die. 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 Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Make sure you are sharing this prayer meeting. Make sure you are doing a watch party. I want you to invite seven people. God bless you. You have been doing so. And people have been blessed. Oh, yes. Mashaka Yapuri Baba. One of those people that you, are, you share this meeting with have called me today. Marika Suri Baba Kashanda Baba. Now the Lord will bless you as you share this meeting. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will lift you high. In the name of Jesus, as you are using this video to evangelize the world. God. The Lord will add stars to your crown in heaven. The Lord will add stars to your crown in heaven. The Lord will add stars to your crown in heaven. You will make heaven by the power in the blood of Jesus. I used to have a sister. The sister, the sister used to call me. She was just failing exams. I will not mention names. She was just failing exams. How? There was a personality that was supervising a failure. A maternal grandmother will appear in a dream and she will just laugh <laughs> and disappear. And the sister will write exams and fail. That was how I came across that sister. That was how that sister called me. He said, Pastor, this is what is going on in my life. And to the glory of God, we started praying. It was a talk of war. It was a talk of war. You will not believe this. The grandmother physically fell down and died. So we said definitely she was the one doing it. You don't understand. You are going to shout it again. Any personality in my father's house that is supervising my failure, the time for you to die is now. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any personality in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in-law's house, in my place of birth that is supervising my failure, that is supervising my wife's failure, that is supervising my children's failure, the time for 
for you to die is now. Fall down and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, you have determined that I must fail. I have determined that you must die. In the name of Jesus, every power that has determined that I must fail, you must die. In the name of Jesus, every power that has determined that I must fail, that my wife must fail, that my children must fail, I have also determined that you must die. In the name of Jesus, I have determined that you must die. I have determined that you must die. I have determined that you must die. In the name of Jesus, every power in my father's house, every power in my mother's house, every power in my in-laws house, every power in my place of birth, every power in this land of America that has determined that I must fail, that has determined that my wife must fail, that has determined that my children must fail. I have also determined that you must die and you must die in the name of Jesus. I have determined that you must die and you must die in the name of Jesus. I have determined that you must die and you must die in the name of Jesus. I have determined you must die. 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 You need to listen to stories of people in counseling. Ha! The wickedness of the wicked is very wicked. Hallelujah. Of course, you know, I will never mention any name. I was listening to somebody today, and I said, Father, if a few, few persons called me, but there was a particular one that was very serious. Ha! You are going to pray again. Say, powers that want to bury me in the valley of life. Yes. Powers. That wants to that want to bury me in the valley of life. You are a liar. That by fire. That by fire. That by fire. That by fire. That okay. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Powers that want to bury me. That want to bury my wife. That want to bury my children in the valley of life. Ah, you are a liar. That by fire. That by fire. That by fire. That by fire. I refuse to be buried in the valley of life. My wife refuses to be buried in the valley of life. My children refuse to be buried in the valley of life. We are mountaintop candidates. You are going to say to yourself, say, I, my wife, and my children. You say, are you, yourself, your husband, your wife, your children? We are mountaintop candidates by the power in the blood of Jesus. Even if we are not mountaintop before, today we have become mountaintop candidates by the power in the blood of Jesus. Ah, we need to pray. I listened to the story of that brethren and I pitied her. Amen. You are going to pray. Say, powers that wants me to die as a beggar. Powers that want me to die as a beggar. You are not my maker. Therefore die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me, that wants my wife, that wants my children to die as beggars. Die, 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 die. That wants me to die as a beggar. That wants me to die as a crawler. Ah, fall down and die by the power in the blood of somebody. You are looking at me right now. I sent death to every power that wants you to die as a beggar. In the name of Jesus, I sent death to anything they have done against you that wants to make you to die as a beggar. In the name of Jesus, everything they planted in your body that wants to make you to die as a beggar, that is making you to crawl instead of flying, I command you to die. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. 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 ashes. In the name of Jesus. Ah, You are welcome to this prayer meeting. Let us welcome ourselves. <laughs> it's another day of fire. James, James, James Eta, Tane, Ladna, you are welcome. Osarugwe, Ide, Nimi Lewis, God bless you in the name of Adiosu, Adironke, God bless you. Anash, Jack, Oluani Femi, Salam, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Osarugwe, Ide, God bless you. Oluani Femi, Salam, yes. Fatu Bangura, Stella Kimani, God bless you in the name of Jesus. The only Ade Dogu, Ade Jare, God bless you. Titila, your money, sir. God bless you. Josephine, hello, God bless you. Sammy, Babani, they God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. You are welcome by the power in the blood of Jesus. Fatu Bangura, you are welcome. Daddy Moses Wood, you are welcome. If it's Jesus, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. You will meet with Jesus today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Mary Ovian Ria, 
Ikunu Ekai. Ah, that's a new one. God bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord that has brought you to this meeting shall lift up your head. In the name of Jesus. Rita. You are welcome in the name of the Patricia Kalu. God bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are all welcome. Chika Iweze. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Let us give Jehovah seven powerful. Hallelujah there. Rahima Sandy. God bless you, Nancy Johnson. God bless you in the name of Jesus. No, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Masha Adam Sibari. You are welcome into the presence of the Most High God. In the mighty name of God, God bless you, man. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Masha Kayababa, precious evangelist. Errol Lawson, God bless you, sir. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I welcome you into the very prayer. Louis Chibu, God bless you in the name of Let us continue to share. Let us continue to make, you know, watch party with this prayer meeting. Rugia to Koka, God bless you. Ajaobolaji, Jaoba, God bless you. That's a new person again. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, the God that you have come to seek on this mountain shall suddenly appear in your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Stella Kimani, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. La Caroline Wood, God bless you, man. Monica Amaichi, God bless. Just keep on sharing. Just keep on sharing. Just keep on sharing. Mary or same way we get. God bless you in the year seven powerful. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. The Gary Benjamin. Hallelujah. You are in this prayer meeting. They have decided to frustrate you. Oh Amen. Jesus. Powers that have decided to frustrate me. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers that have decided to frustrate me. You are a liar. Die. 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 Whether in my father's house, whether in my mother's house, whether in my in-law's house, whether in my place of birth, lie I lend me, you are welcome. In the name of Jesus, every power that wants to frustrate me, fall down and die. In the open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth. Remember, there is power. The, the, the power, the, the power of death and life is in your tongue. Death and life is a power. Yes. Say every power that have decided to frustrate me, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they want to frustrate your business. They want to frustrate your family. They want to frustrate your home. They want to frustrate your job. They want to frustrate your finances. They shall fall down and die in this prayer meeting by the power, every force of darkness, every troop of darkness that has been assigned to frustrate you, I command them to die. In the name of Jesus, every troop of darkness that has been assigned to frustrate you, I command them to die. 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 In the name of Jesus, every power that wants to frustrate what God is doing in your life, I command them to fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that wants to frustrate what Jehovah is doing right now in your life. I bury them by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bury them by the power in the blood of Jesus. Keep on sharing. Keep on liking. Keep on loving this page. The Lord will love you back. In the name of Jesus. I, your daily Roslyn, God bless you, man. In the name of Jesus, ah, you will not go away empty and dead today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will load you with his blessings. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will load you with his blessings. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will load you with his, with his blessings. In the name of Jesus, somebody is a praying this prayer. Say, powers that want to cut me off from my divine project. Somebody is a pray this prayer. I don't know why, but pray this prayer. Say, powers that want to cut me off. From my divine project, you are a liar. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every power that wants to cut me off from my divine project, that wants to cut my wife off from a divine project, that wants to cut my children off from their divine project, you are a liar. Fall down and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, fall down and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, every power that wants to cut me off from my divine project, you are a liar. Fall down, die. Fall down, die. Fall down, die. Open your mouth and pray. Your divine project, your divine project, every power that has been assigned to cut you off 
from your divine project. I bury them now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Remember, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against very wicked spirits in high places. Every power that wants to cut you off from your divine project, I bury them in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that wants to cut you off from your divine project, they want to frustrate you. They want to cut you off. They want to frustrate you. They want to cut you off. I command them to fall down and die. This is their burial ground. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. You shall not be frustrated because you are a child of God. You shall not be frustrated because it is God that placed that divine project in your hands. Masaka Talibaba. You are going to pray it again like this. Say, powers attacking my divine project. This prayer is not for everybody. It's for somebody in this prayer meeting. They, they are attacking. That divine project is a massive one. It's a glorious one. In fact, it's a project that is going to make you and make your descendants. Hallelujah. Powers attacking my divine project. What are you waiting for? Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, any power, anywhere that is attacking my divine project, fall, die, fall, die, fall. Open your mouth and pray. Keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. Invite seven people. God bless you as you do so. In the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody in this prayer meeting. That strong man in your father's house that is drinking the blood of your prosperity. That strong man. The strong man in your father's house. That occultic man in your father's house that is drinking the blood of your prosperity. I poison them by fire. Godwin James, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. I poison them with the blood of Jesus. I poison them in this prayer meeting with the blood of Jesus. Anyone in your father's house that is drinking the blood of your prosperity, the blood of your greatness, I poison them in this prayer meeting with the blood of Jesus. I poison them with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I poison them with the blood of Jesus. I command them to drink the blood of Jesus and die. For Kamara. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Please, please keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So you are going to shout this one loud and clear. Anyone in my father's house. Anyone in my father's house that is using my glory, release me and die in the name of Jesus. Anyone in my father's house that is using my glory, release me and die in the name of Jesus. Anyone in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in-law's house, in my place of birth that is using my glory, using my wife's glory, using my children's glory, release us and die, release me and die. You better open your mouth and pray. Sandra Udebo, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. The blessings of God shall be shared unto you. In the name of Jesus, keep on sharing the blessings of God, the miracles of God, the signs and wonders of God will be shared unto you, even as you share this gospel, even as you share this prayer meeting, the blessings of God shall be shared unto you by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will give you a blessing for this weekend, a testimony for this weekend, a sign and a wonder for this weekend. In the name of Jesus, keep on sharing. Keep on liking, keep on loving. Masaka ya puri baba, lebra kashanda raba baba le puri baba, rina saka tara baba le puri baba. Mare mama, for in Jesus' name we pray. Pray this prayer. Say, anyone in my father's house that want to add my blessing to their blessing, anyone in my father's house that want to. Add my blessing to their blessing. Hear the judgment of the living God. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Anyone in my father's house that wants to add my blessing. 
to their blessing. They want to add my children's blessings to their blessings. Hear the judgment of the Lord. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. You need to pray for your children. Somebody said you need to pray for your children. Anyone in my father's house, anyone in my mother's house that want to add my children's blessings to their own blessings, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Anyone in my father's house, anyone in my mother's house, anyone in my in-laws house, anyone in my place of birth that want to add my children's blessings to their own blessings. What are you waiting for? Fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say, I pray like this. Say, every blockage that household wickedness has built on my way to greatness. Every blockage that household wickedness has built on my way to greatness, scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus, scatter by thunder, scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, God has made you great. But also wickedness have built walls of Jericho. He said, by thee, I run through, by thee, O Lord, I run through a troop. By my God, I leap over the wall. Every wall of Jericho that also wickedness have erected on my way to greatness. Every wall of Jericho that also wickedness have erected on my highway to greatness, on my wife's highway to greatness, on my children's highway to greatness, scatter by thunder, scatter by thunder, scatter by thunder, scatter by thunder, scatter by thunder. Let the thunder of God strike and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Let the thunder of God strike and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Let the thunder of God strike and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Let the thunder of God strike and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Mashakaya Baba Baba Baba. Ekon. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. You know, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And pleasures abound at the right hand of God forever. Why is there joy in the presence of God? Because in the presence of God, there is deliverance. In the presence of God, there is healing. In the presence of God, there is promotion. Somebody said to them, don't worry. I know they have really tormented you. I know they have really tortured you. But Jehovah delivers you today by his mighty power in the name of Jesus. Jehovah delivers you today by his mighty power in the name of Jesus. And your daily wrestling, God bless you. They say Jehovah delivers you today by your mighty power, by his mighty power in the name of Jesus. They have tormented you. They have tortured you. There is nothing they have not done to you. They have dragged your destiny in the mud. But today, in the presence of God, because in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. The hand of the living God will deliver you by fire. The hand of the living God will deliver you by fire. The hand of the living God will deliver you by fire. The hand of the living God will rescue you by fire. The hand of the living God will rescue you by fire. The hand of the living God will rescue you by fire. In that sinking marriage, in that sinking career, in that sinking job, in that sinking finances, the hand of the living God will rescue you in this prayer meeting by His mighty power. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the living God will rescue you. In the name of Jesus, right now, receive your rescue by the power in the blood of Jesus. Right now, receive your rescue by the power in the blood of Jesus from that sinking marriage, from that sinking career, from that sinking job, from that sinking business, from that sinking investment, from that sinking finance. I say receive your rescue. Receive your rescue by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive your rescue by the power in the blood of Jesus for it is written, whose so ever the sun sets free, it's free indeed. Receive your rescue, receive your freedom by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord is delivering you today. The Lord is rescuing you today by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus, you are being delivered. That you are being delivered. You are being delivered. You are being delivered. You are being delivered. Comfort Akimbo. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. The power of God will deliver you in this prayer meeting. The power of God will deliver you in this prayer meeting. The power of God. Yes, your life is a mess. Hallelujah. But the Lord will turn your mess into miracle. In the name of Jesus. Your life has been a mess. A complete mess. 
but they turn around power of God will turn around your life today in this prayer meeting. They turn around power of the living God will turn around your life today in the name of Jesus. They turn around power of the Most High God will turn around your life today. Receive that turn around by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive that turn around by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive that turn around by the power. Yes, your life is moving forward by fire in the name of Jesus. You will not die in this your current situation in the name of Jesus. You will not die in this your current situation in the name of Jesus. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. You will be elevated. You will be promoted. You will be elevated. You will be promoted. You will be elevated. You will be promoted. Fred Naughty, you are welcome. Latoya Marion, you are welcome. God bless you, Naughty. God bless you, Marion. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. You will not die in this present situation in the name of Jesus. And all those that have vowed that you must die in this present situation, they will replace you in the grave by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will replace you in the burial ground by the power in the blood of Jesus. No, I reject it for you. You will not die in this condition. You will not die. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. You will not die in this situation. Your husband, your, your wife, your children will not die in this situation. In the name of Jesus, the sister that called me to this morning, uh, the, the, this morning, before this prayer meeting started, I pray for you, even in the company of the prayer of the saints of God, you will not die in this condition. The condition you explained to me today, you will not die in that condition. And every power that has put you in that condition, I command them to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every covenant that has put you in that condition, I command them to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. You will not die in that condition. You will not die a beggar. You will not die a crawler by the power in the blood of Jesus the Lord will lift up your head by his mighty power the Lord will lift up your head by his mighty power the Lord will lift up your head by his mighty power you will not die you will not die you will not die you will not die you will live to see the goodness of God by the power in the blood of Jesus you are promoted in this prayer meeting yes I'm referring to that sister now she called me some few minutes before this meeting started you are promoted in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus, you are promoted in this prayer meeting. By the power in the blood of Jesus, you are promoted in this prayer meeting. By the power in the blood of Jesus, any power that will challenge your promotion from today, that will challenge your prosperity from today, shall fall down and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, they shall fall down and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, they shall fall down and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, Tope, you are welcome. Mashaka Tope. Marika Suri Baba, but then you God bless you, sir. Every power challenging your promotion, challenging your elevation, challenging your blueprint, every power that is challenging your mountaintop movement, I command them to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command them to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command them to die by the power. Ya Kasira Mikaguria, Mareba Shakaya Baba Kasekeleboria, Malika Saire Makaria, Raina Sakatari Baba Kashe Teleboria, Malepo Shikahika, Roma Nasika Liparunia, Lama Nakasaka Lepuri Baba. Ramo le kasika le harumina la eno saina kasaka tariba kuria. What a wicked world! What a wicked world! What a wicked world! What a wicked world! Malika huria. Maina Kasira Huria, Reba Shakata, receive your deliverance, receive your healing by the power in the blood of Jesus, receive your deliverance, receive your healing. The Bible says in Obadiah 117, it says, Upon Monsayo, there shall be deliverance. Yes, Christy, Eche Tabu, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Christy Eche Tabu, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. I say, receive your deliverance, receive your healing by the power in the blood of You are on Monsayo right now. Monica Maichi. God bless you. You are on Mount Zion right now. Receive your deliverance by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power, Adam Zibari, God bless you. Any power that will not allow you to receive your deliverance in this prayer meeting, I command the thunder of God to strike them dead in the name of Jesus. I command the thunder of God to strike them dead in the name of what it is written. Massacre, you are sick. Oh, man, let every source of sickness in your body die in the name of Jesus. Talk by, by the power and the blood of Jesus. I release the fire of God into your body as you are hearing the sound of my voice. Every, every power. 
behind your infirmity. I command that power to die in the name of Jesus. Every power behind your infirmity, I command that power to die in the name of Jesus. I command that power to die. The Bible says, I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Every covenant, every curse, every sin, every disobedience, every power, every principality, every rule of darkness, every wicked spirit in high places that is behind your sickness, I command them to die by the power in the blood of Jesus, the atoning power in the blood of Jesus, I command them to die. You receive your healing. He sent his word and he healed their diseases. You are healed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Mashakatari, I don't know why, but somebody is here. Some wicked powers have decided that you must be frustrated. <laughs> you are going to pray. Blessing white. God bless you in there. Thank you very much for sharing. I can see new people are joining. God bless you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you are going to pray like this. Every committee of wicked elders of my father's house that have decided to frustrate my life fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every committee of wicked elders of my father's house, of my mother's house, of my in-law's house, of my place of birth that have decided to frustrate my life, to frustrate my wife's life, to frustrate my children's lives. No problem. You to fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. You to fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Wicked elders of my father's house. Wicked elders of my father's house frustrating my life. Wicked elders of my mother's house frustrating my life. Wicked elders of my in-law's house, of my place of birth, frustrating my life, frustrating my wife and my children's lives. Fall, die, fall, die, fall, die, fall, die, fall, die, fall, die, fall, die. In the name of the somebody, I pray this prayer. Every initiation of darkness in my life that is affecting my greatness, every initiation of darkness in my life that is affecting my greatness, die, scatter, die, scatter, die, die, scatter. Yes, they initiated you. And that initiation is affecting your greatness. Amen. Every initiation of darkness in my life, in my wife's life, in my children's lives, that is affecting our greatness. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. You are in this prayer meeting. I pray for you. Every initiation of darkness in your life, whether conscious or unconscious, yes, they did it consciously, unconsciously to you, but it is affecting your destiny. I command that initiation to die now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every conscious and unconscious satanic initiation, witchcraft initiation in your life that is affecting your life and your destiny, that is affecting your prosperity and your greatness. I say die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Die by the power. You didn't feel it. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Every initiation of darkness in your life that is affecting your greatness, that is affecting your prosperity, die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Pray for yourself. Every initiation of darkness. Don't say it does not concern me. Because you never can tell. You never can tell. Hallelujah. Every initiation of darkness in my life Consciously or unconsciously, you better. Medina, I do I see. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. Every initiation of darkness in my life, in my wife's life, in my children's lives, consciously or unconsciously, that is affecting our greatness in life that is affecting our prosperity in life, that is affecting our divine establishment in life. I command you to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for yourself. Say, I command you to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command you to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command you to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every initiation in my life, witchcraft initiation, occultic initiation, Marine initiation, serpentine initiation, idolatry initiation, 
consciously or unconsciously. In Doris Obi, you are welcome. In the Mimi Lewis, you are welcome. Yes, consciously or unconsciously. In my life, in my wife, in my children, that is affecting our destiny. That is affecting our greatness. I command you to die today by the power and the blood of Jesus. Expire and die. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Keep on sharing. God bless you in the name of Jesus. We started a prayer topic yesterday. Hallelujah. And some few persons have called me already to tell me the kind of revelations that they are having, to tell me the kind of attacks that they are going through. Hallelujah. And I know that the Lord God Almighty himself will deliver us today by his mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus. The power of the Most High God will deliver you today. In the name of Jesus. The devil cannot be greater than God because it is God that created the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. So yesterday we started a topic. Oh Lord, destroy those. Destroy me to get promotion and to get power. Hallelujah. So when the sister called me this morning, I was narrating the story of her life to me. I understood exactly what she was talking about. Hallelujah. <laughs> I pray for you. Anyone in your father's house that has used everything that God has given to you, <laughs> that has used up everything, that God has given to you, let them return it by fire. Let them return it by fire. Let them return it by fire. In the name of Jesus, let them return it by fire. In the name of Jesus, let them return it by fire. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. Yes, on Facebook, my number is there. Just look at the WhatsApp, please, and click it. Hallelujah. That is a uh, talk by bad day. God bless you. Or you can just send me a private text on Facebook. I will still get it. Hallelujah. <laughs> See, anyone in my father's house that has used all the blessings that Jehovah gave me, I recover them from you by fire. In the name of Jesus, anyone in my father's house, anyone in my mother's house, anyone in my in-law's house, anyone in my place of birth that has used everything that Jehovah gave to me, that has, give, that has used everything that Jehovah gave to my wife, that has used everything that Jehovah gave to my children, we recover them back by the power and the blood of Jesus. Vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. Everything you have used for in my life, you are in my wife's life, in my children's life, Vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. You are a wicked power. Vomit them. Vomit. Die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. Because they have power. They took everything in your life. And they used it. And they left you empty. Today. All the goodness of your life that they took away, that has converted you into a crawler, that has converted you, yes, into a beggar. Amen. Recover it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Sandy Omorago, you are welcome. Recover it by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Help the good things in your life. That the wicked took, took all of them. Didn't even leave one for you. Didn't even leave one for you. Took everything away. And now they turn you into a beggar. Amen. He said, I see very strange things underneath the sun. He says, servants were riding on the horse. And princes were walking barefooted. The owner of the horse is walking barefooted. A servant is riding. Somebody is here. Any servant of darkness riding on the horse of my destiny while I am walking barefooted. Any servant of darkness that is riding on the horse of my destiny while I am walking barefooted. For that, for that, for that, for that, for that. In the name of Jesus, somebody is here. We are recovering the horse of your destiny for you today. By the power and the blood of Jesus. 
servants of darkness. Those that are not up to you in everything. Because they carried power. They collected the horse of your destiny. They are riding the horse. Why you, the owner of the horse, you are walking barefooted? No wonder. It is taking you a very long time to get to your destinations. What is taking others one year is taking you ten years. What is taking others one day is taking you a whole year. Why? The horse of your destiny that is supposed to take you there faster. The enemy is riding it. You are going to say like this. Every enemy of darkness riding on the horse of my destiny. Your end has come. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Every enemy of darkness riding on the horse of my destiny. Riding on the horse of my wife's destiny. Riding on the horse of my children's destiny. Your time has come. Your end has come. Your time has expired. Fall down and die. Fall down from the horse and die. Fall down and break your back. Fall down and break your neck. Fall down and break your head. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every enemy riding on the horse of my destiny. Fall, die, fall, die, fall, die, fall, die, fall. For in Jesus' name we pray. Say, O oh Lord, destroy those destroying me to get promotion and power. Praise the Lord. So yesterday, we looked at how Abimelech slaughtered his 69 brothers on a stone just because he wanted to become a king. Anyone in your father's house that is destroying you for position and power shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. Anyone in your father's house, anyone in your mother's house, anyone in your in-law's house, anyone in your place of birth that is destroying you for position, for power, for fame, for wealth, they shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. They shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is destroying you just because they want power, just because they want position, ah, I bury them today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Anyone stealing and vandalizing your destiny just because they want power, just because they want position, just because they want fame, just because they want to win an election. Somebody said, just because they want to win an election, they have collected all your virtues. Let them fall down and die and release your virtue by fire. Let them fall down and die and release your virtue by fire. Let them fall down and die and release your virtue by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them fall down and die and release your virtue by fire in the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. The Lord will rescue you. The Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Because everything you need to succeed in this life God bless you, man. In the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. Keep on doing watch party. Everything you need to succeed in life, everyone gave it to you. Hallelujah. But you can see people like Abimelech. Just because he wanted to be king, he killed 69 brothers. If I wanted to kill 70, just that one of them escaped. And it is that one now. That we are going to because you have escaped. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have escaped. And the prayer of the escapee, yes, the prayer of that man that escaped from destruction, that is what we are going to pray today. Amen. The Bible says in Judges chapter 9, Amen. Hallelujah. I said, oh, before I even go, Judges chapter 9, verse 7. And when they told it to Jotam, they told Jotam what Abimelech had done. He had killed his 69 brothers. Anyone shedding blood in your father's house for power, eh? the sword of fire will shed their blood in the name of Jesus. The thunder of God will shed their blood in the name of Jesus. Anyone in your father's house that is shedding blood for power, that is shedding blood for position, that is shedding blood 
yes, for fame, for prosperity, the sword of fire will shed their blood in the name of Jesus. The sword of fire will shed their blood in the name of Jesus. The sword of fire will shed their blood. We are just going into prayers now. We are just going into prayers now. And please, I want you to share. I want you to share this prayer meeting. I want you to continue to share, to do a watch party. Because there are a lot of people that are suffering under what we are talking about today. Even though they are not dead physically, but they are, they are, they are, they are, they are existing as if they are not alive. Their blood has been shed for prosperity. Their blood has been shed for promotion. Their blood has been shed to win elections. Hallelujah. You are here. They have shed your blood to win elections. Recover your blood by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover your blood by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover your blood by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, Abimele shed blood here yeah, just to become king. <laughs> Say anyone. Tony or Ba Demi, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord will heal you completely by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Tony. Anyone shedding blood to afflict you shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus will purify your blood. Every affliction in your blood shall die. In the name of Jesus. Every affliction in your blood, in your water, in your flesh, in your bones shall die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive your healing for he sent his word and he healed their diseases. Hallelujah. <laughs> I said, Jotam, the youngest half-brother of Abimelech, issued a curse against Abimelech and also invoked the anger of God against him. All those that are attacking you, in this meeting today, we shall invoke the anger of God against them. In the name of Jesus, all those that are attacking you, in this prayer meeting, we invoke the anger of God against them. Let the anger of God can do against them in the name of Jesus. All those that are shedding blood, shedding your blood for position, for power, for prosperity, the anger of God will kindle against them in the name of Jesus. All those that are using your potentials, using your virtues, they have collected everything that Jehovah gave to you for you to become great. Now they are the ones that are great and you are a beggar. The anger of God will kindle against them. The anger of God will kindle against them. The the anger of God we can do against them. The anger of God we can do against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep on liking, keep on sharing, keep on loving. Hallelujah. Remember in Proverbs 26, verse 2. In Proverbs 26, verse 2, the Bible says, As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse, curseless, shall not come. So the curse, curseless, shall not come. If they have not done anything, the curse we are going to issue in this prayer meeting today will not affect them. But if they have done anything against you, which was what I usually tell deliverance candidates when they come for prayers, especially the lady whose grandmother was always laughing, laughing at her in her dream, and she will fail her exams. I told her, I said, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. But if that mama is behind this failure. Hey, the wrath of God will fall upon her. The sister said, I don't, I don't care, sir. I have been failing. And she comes every time. And we prayed. We issued a curse. We released death sentence. And she died. For the first time, the sister was really able to move forward. And of course, not without struggles. You are going to pray like this. Oh Lord, my Father, all those that want to destroy me in my Father's house, let your curse begin to destroy them 
in the name of Jesus. All those that want to destroy me in my father's house for their own ambition. Oh Lord, my father, let your curse begin to destroy them. Let your curse begin to destroy them. I curse them with the curse of death. In the name of Jesus, I cast them with the curse of death. In the name of Jesus, I cast them with the curse of death. In the name of Jesus, all those that want to empty everything that Jehovah has given to me so that I can become a beggar, so that I can become a crawler, I cast them with the curse of death by the power in the blood of Jesus. I cast them with the curse of death. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. If you were here yesterday, you will remember the story. Like I was saying, the story was that Abimelech went to his mother's people. Because he was half brother to the 70 brothers. Same father, Jerubal, but not the same mother. His mother was from Shechem. The mother of the 70 brethren were not from Shechem. So he went to the people of Shechem, where they were living, and told them, trick those ones, and said, which one do you prefer? For 70 men to be ruling you, or, to, or one man to be ruling you? After I said that to them, he now said, remember, I am your bone, and I am your flesh. And the Bible says, those ones took him to their idol. They took him to their idol. Anyone, taking anyone to, to an idol, to an altar, to a shrine, in order to empty your destiny, shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, anyone, taking anyone to any idol, to any shrine, to any altar, in order to empty your virtues, in order to empty your potentials, in order to empty your destiny, they shall fall down and die. And their altars shall scatter in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die. And their altars shall scatter in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die. And their altars shall scatter in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die. I thought I would hear powerful amen from you there. I said they shall fall down and die. And their altars shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Maybe if these 70 brothers had prayed, maybe this would not have befallen them. Abimelech went to an altar. And, amen. And he slaughtered all his brothers, except one that escaped. Again, there. God bless you in the name of Jesus. And that was Jotham. So in Judges chapter 9, verse 7, the Bible says, And when they told it to Jotham, they now told Jotha. He went and stood in the top of Mount Gerizim and lifted up his voice and cried. <laughs> you can see. Mary, your same way again. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. He went to Mount Gerizim and lifted up his voice and cried. Can you see the reason why we say, lift up your voice and cry? He cried and heaven answered him. Heaven answered the cry of Jotham. Hallelujah. And said unto them, Hearken unto me, ye men of Shechem, that God may hearken unto you. Now therefore, if ye have done truly and sincerely, in that ye have made Abimelech king, and if ye have dealt well with Jerubal and his house, and have done unto him according to the deserving of his hands, for my father fought for you. Jeruba is their father. Fought for Shechem. Hallelujah. And adventured his life far and delivered you out of the hand of Midian. See, my father that gave birth to all the children that Abimelech slaughtered. Amen. Fought for you. Delivered you from the hand of the Midianites. Your enemies. You see, sometimes no matter how you try to please human beings, human beings will still be human beings. Despite all that Jerubal did for Shechem, the city of Shechem, when somebody came and claimed that he belonged to them because his mother was from them, they slaughtered his half-brothers on his behalf. Hallelujah. He said, from... Amen. 
and ye are risen up against my father's house this day, and have slain his sons, three score and ten persons, upon one stone, and have made Abimelech the son of, of his maid servant. Ah, Abimelech was actually a bastard. There's a proverb in my language. He said, if there's peace in a home, it's because the bastard in that home has not grown up yet. If there's peace in a home, it's because the bastard in that home has not grown up yet. The moment the bastard grows up, the whole house is going to scatter. That is exactly what the scripture is saying here. Abimelech, was the son of a maid servant. You can see. The son of a maid servant. No wonder he was brutal. No wonder he was wicked. Hallelujah. The son of a maid servant. Amen. The Bible says, King, the, it said, I have made Abimelech the son of his maid servant, King over the men of Shechem, because he is your brother. If ye then have dealt truly and sincerely with Jerubal and with his house this day, then rejoice ye in Abimelech, and let him also rejoice in you. He was now preparing a curse for them. He said, if truly you have done well with what you did with Abimelech, amen, then rejoice in Abimelech and let Abimelech rejoice in you. Hallelujah. Amen. He now said, but if not, amen, let fire come out from Abimelech and devour the men of Shechem. Say, O oh Lord, my father, let my enemies devour themselves. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my Father, let my enemies devour themselves. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my Father, all those that are stealing my virtues, all those that are stealing my potentials, all those that are drinking the blood of my prosperity, Father, let them destroy themselves by your mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the wicked elders, the committee of witchcraft powers, in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in-laws house, in my place of birth, tormenting my life, tormenting my wife and my children's lives. Father, today I curse them with the curse of death. Let them destroy themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let them destroy themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. All those that are destroying me for, in order to get promotion, to, to, to get promotion um, and power. Father, let them destroy themselves by your mighty power. I put a curse of destroy yourselves upon them. In the name of Jesus, my enemies shall destroy themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. My enemies shall destroy themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. My wife's enemies shall destroy themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. My children's enemies shall destroy themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. All my enemies, all those that are violent vandalize my destiny. All those that have vandalized my wife's destiny, vandalize my children's destinies for their own good. My Lord and my Father, I release a curse from them. Let fire come out of them and let their fire begin to burn themselves. Let their fire burn them. Let their fire burn them. The Bible says, it says, let fire come out of Abimelech and swallow Shechem. Let fire come out of my enemies and destroy my enemies. In in the name of Jesus, let fire come out of my enemies and destroy my enemies. In the name of Jesus, in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in-laws house, in my place of birth, my father, my God, in this land, all my enemies, Father, let their fire, their own fire consume them. Let their own fire destroy them. Let their own fire consume them. Let their own fire destroy them. Let their own fire consume them. Let their own fire destroy them. Let their own fire consume them. Let their own fire destroy them. Let their own fire consume them. Let their own fire destroy them. Let their own fire consume them. Them in the name of Jesus, yes. Every witchcraft power, every occultic power, every marine power, every serpentine power, every idol power tormenting my life, tormenting my wife's life, tormenting my children's lives, my father, my God, let their own fire consume them. In the name of Jesus, let their own fire consume them. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, and it says, let fire. 
Hallelujah. He said, let fire come out of Abimelech. Hallelujah. Amen. Let fire come, come out of Abimelech and devour the men of Shechem and the house of Milo. And let fire come out from the men of Shechem and from the house of Milo and devour Abimelech. Which means, let the fire of Abimelech devour Shechem. Let the fire of Shechem devour Abimelech. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray. Every Shechem, every Abimelech in my life, destroy yourself with your own fire. In, destroy yourself with your own fire. 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 Yes, all those that have gathered against me, destroy yourselves with your own fire. In the name of Jesus, all those that have gathered against me to vandalize my life, all those that have gathered against my wife and my children to, to vandalize their lives, let your fire. Destroy yourselves, destroy yourselves by your own fire, destroy yourselves by your own fire, destroy yourselves by your own fire, destroy yourselves by your own fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> the Bible is very, very interesting. He went to call Shechem to kill his brothers, the son of a maid servant, to kill his half brothers, and they killed 69. In one day, he wanted to kill all the 70, but Jotam escaped. It is a Jotam now that is raining curses. Your curse on your enemies shall manifest by fire. In the name of Jesus, your curse on your enemies shall manifest by fire. In the name of Jesus, every curse you release on the enemies today shall manifest by fire. Shall manifest by fire. Shall manifest by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and Jotam ran away and fled and went to Bear and dwelt there for fear of Abimelech, his brother. When Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel, when Abimelech had reigned, Charlie Odeon, God bless you in the name of Jesus. When Abimelech had reigned three years, look at God. All your prayers on your enemies, the Lord will answer them by fire. In the name of Jesus, all your prayers on your enemies, the Lord will answer them by fire. In the name of Jesus, all your prayers on your enemies, all your prayers on household wickedness, all your prayers on witches and wizards, on occultic powers, on marine powers, on serpentine powers, on idol powers, tormenting your life shall manifest by fire. All your prayers on your enemies shall manifest by fire. In this prayer meeting today, I pray all your prayers on your your enemies, on those, on the enemies of your soul, on the enemies of the agenda of God for your life shall manifest by fire, shall manifest by fire, shall manifest by fire, shall manifest by fire. Don't tell prayed. And God answered the prayer. He said the reason why it is good to pray all the time. Hallelujah. Look at what happened there. In verse 22. Hallelujah. In verse 22. That is Judges chapter 9. Verse 22. The Bible says when Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel, he had forgotten. He had forgotten what he had done. He had reigned three years. Three years had gone. Hallelujah. Then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. Did you see that? God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem, because of the prayer of Jotam, say, Oh Lord, my Father, send evil spirits into the camp of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, right now in this prayer meeting, send evil spirits into the camp of my enemies and begin to destroy them one by one. In the name of Jesus, all those that are tormenting me, attacking my life, attacking my home, attacking my marriage, attacking my wife, attacking my children, attacking my health, attacking my finances. Father, send evil spirits into their camp right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, send evil spirits into their camp right now. In the name of Jesus, the same way you sent evil spirits into the camp of Abimelech and Shechem, Father, send evil spirits into the camp of all my enemies and let the evil spirit begin to destroy them. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we pray. Who tells you that God does not hear the petition of his children? Jotan went on Mount Gerizim. 
He cried. The Bible says he cried. The same way you cry, come here, you cry all the time. Hallelujah. The Lord will honor your cry over your enemies. The Lord will honor your cry over your enemies in the name of Jesus. The Lord will honor your cry over your enemies in the name of Jesus. In this prayer meeting today, the Lord will honor your cry over all your enemies by his mighty power. I say the Lord will honor your cry. The Lord will honor your cry. All that needs to happen when you are praying is for God to honor your cry. Amen. Jotam cried. After he had cried and he had cast. You have what he said. He said, fire will come out of Abimelech and it will consume Shechem. And fire will come out of Shechem and it will consume Abimelech. And you are not praying. People will say, what kind of prayer is this? Did you see that prayer in the Bible? Look at, look at the wickedness that happened. For some people, the wickedness that the wicked is, is perpetuating in your life is even more than this. They have killed every good thing in your life. They have killed every good thing in the garden of your life. Somebody is going to pray like this. Say, any power killing good things in the garden of my life. Your end has come. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power killing good things in the garden of my life, in the garden of my wife's life, in the garden of my children's lives, in the garden of my parents' lives, in the garden of my siblings' lives. Your end has come. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power that is killing good things in the garden of my life, enough is enough. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power, any spirit, any personality that is killing good things in the garden of my life. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Some spiritual bastards, they will enter into a place and slaughter everything. And slaughter everything. No wonder Jotan cried. All his brothers were gone. All of them. He cried. And the Bible says, after three years that Abimelech had been ruling as king, he had forgotten all the evil. Ah, say, oh Lord, my father, <laughs> remember the sins of my enemies by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my father, in your wrath, in your anger, remember the sins of my enemies, the sins of my tormentors, the sins of my wasters, the sins of my destroyers, the sins of my emptiers. Father, remember their sins. Father, remember. Elizabeth, when you are, when you are foreign, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my father, remember the sins of my enemies by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus. Remember, even the psalmist said, he said, the Lord will remember their sins. Oh Lord, my father, all those tormenting my soul in my father's house, all those tormenting my soul in my mother's house, all those using, using my, my, my virtue for their own greatness. My father, my God, Remember their sins by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Any occultic man or woman, any witchcraft power, any witchcraft agent in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in-law's house, in my place of birth that is using my virtue and I am living like a beggar. I am living like a crawler. My father, my God, remember their sins today by your mighty power. Father, remember their sins today by your mighty power. After three years, the Lord remembered the sin. The Lord remember the sins of Abimelech. <laughs> they are tormenting you. They have been tormenting you. I ah, don't worry. You have a God in heaven. This God will remember all their sins and will punish them one by one in the name of Jesus. This God will remember the sins of all your enemies and will punish them one by one. He will punish them one by one. Say, oh Lord, my father, remember the sins of all my enemies and punish them one by one by your mighty power. Father, punish them one by one by your mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus. We are still looking at the scriptures. The Bible says, when Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel, he had forgotten, he had been enjoying, enjoying power. The power that is slaughtered innocent people for. Your enemies shall not go unpunished. In the name of Jesus. 
the tormentors of your soul shall not go unpunished in the name of Jesus. The, the vandalizers, those ones that are vandalizing your destiny, they shall not go punished. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the witches in your father's house, all the witches in your mother's house, all the wicked elders, they shall not go unpunished. Because of you, they will perish by fire. In the name of Jesus, because of you, they will perish by fire. Let us read the Bible. Then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. And the men of that, verse 23, and the men of Shechem dealt treasury, treasurately with Abimelech. The same thing Abimelech did to his brothers. Using Shechem. Shechem is now doing to him. Hallelujah. He said that the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jerubal might come and their blood be laid upon Abimelech, their brother, hmm. which slew them, and upon the men of Shechem, which aided him in the killing of his brethren. Any power, any personality that is helping anyone to vandalize my life, you are also culpable. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power, any personality that is helping anyone to vandalize my life, to vandalize my wife's life, to vandalize my children's lives, you are also culpable. Fall down and die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes, there are accessories to the facts. They shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Anyone, any power, any spirit, any personality assisting anyone to destroy me shall be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power, any spirit, any personality that is assisting anyone to destroy me, to destroy my wife, they will destroy my children. My father, my God, they are also culpable. Father, let them die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let them die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every support of my enemies collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Every assistance of my enemies collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Yes. He said he will not only deal with Abimelech, he will also deal with Shechem that aided him, that helped him, which aided him in killing of his brethren. And the men of Shechem set liars wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed all that came along that way by them. Can you imagine? And it was told Abimelech, verse 26, and Gal, the son of Ebel, came with his brethren and went over to Shechem. And the men of Shechem put their confidence in him. Now they have a new leader. <laughs> May all your enemies lose their power and their support. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my Father, by your mighty power, let all my enemies lose their power, lose their support, lose their group, lose their association. Let their associations turn against them. Let their coven turn against them. Let them lose their power. Let them lose their coven. Let them lose their altar. Let them lose their power. Let them lose their coven. Let them lose their altars. All my enemies, let them lose every support that they are getting against me. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my Father, let all my enemies lose every support that they are getting from, from against me. Every support from witch doctors, every support from herbalists, every support from witchcraft. Father, let them lose their support by the mighty power. Anyone assisting them to destroy me, Father, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy them in the name of... Look at, look at the way the world is. They've got another leader. Gal, or God, the son of Ebed, came with his brethren and went over to Shechem. And the men of Shechem put their confidence in him. No more Abimelech. Father, say, O oh Lord, let there be confusion in the camp of my enemies by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, let there be confusion in the camp of those attacking my destiny, in the camp of those attacking my wife's destiny, in the camp of those attacking my children's destinies. Father, let there be confusion. Let there be confusion in their camp by your mighty power. In the mighty name of this is confusion. They chose another leader while the king was still there. Hallelujah. Verse 27. And they went out into the fields and gathered their vineyards, and trod the grapes, and made merry, and went into the house of their God, and did eat and drink, and cursed Abimelech, and cursed Abimelech. 
You can imagine. The same shekel that he hired to kill his brothers for position, for power, they are now cursing him. Oh Lord, my father, let my enemies begin to cast themselves in the name of Jesus. Let my enemies begin to cast themselves with the curse of death, with the curse of affliction, with the curse of failure. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my father, let my enemies face themselves and begin to cast themselves with the curse of death, with the curse of afflictions. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody say, open your mouth. This is your prayer. Oh Lord, my father, today, today, let all my enemies. They, yes, face themselves and begin to cast themselves with the curse of death in the name of Jesus. Let them cast themselves until they die in the name of Jesus. Let them cast themselves until they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, let my enemies begin to cast themselves until they destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. Let them begin to fight themselves until they destroy themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. All my enemies, Father, all those that want to destroy me for in order to destroy me for position, for power, for pay, for faith. Father, let them destroy themselves. Let them face themselves and destroy themselves. Let them face themselves and destroy themselves. You can see the power of prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and Gal, the son of Ebed, who is, he said, said, who is Abimelech? Hey? Who is Shechem? That we should serve him. Is not he the son of Jerubal and Zebu his officer? Serve the men of Ammon, the father of Shechem. For why should we serve him? And would to God his people were under my hand. Then would I remove Abimelech. And he said to Abimelech, Increase that army and come out. Hallelujah. Opposition arose. Father, say in the camp of my enemies, let opposition arise by your mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the camp of my enemies, let opposition, opposition to destruction, arise by your power. In the name of Jesus, in the camp of my enemies, let opposition to destruction arise by fire, arise by fire, arise by fire. Opposition to destruction in the camp of my enemy, arise by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody here. Opposition to destruction will arise in the camp of your tormentors, in the camp of those vanities analyzing your destiny. They shall destroy themselves. They shall oppose themselves to destruction. They shall oppose themselves to destruction. They shall oppose themselves to destruction. All the enemies of your soul, all those that want you to become a beggar, that want you to become a crawler, that will not allow you to soar to the mountain top, they will cause themselves to destruction. They will oppose themselves to destruction by the power in the blood of Jesus. They have gathered to attack you. They will gather to attack themselves in the name of Jesus. They have gathered to attack you in their Covens. They will gather to attack themselves. They will gather to destroy themselves. The enemies of your soul, the enemies of your greatness, the enemies of your prosperity. They will gather to destroy themselves. They will gather to destroy themselves. They will gather to destroy themselves. The curse of God will overshadow them. The curse of destruction will overshadow them by the power in the blood of Jesus. The curse of destruction will overshadow them by the power in the blood of Jesus. You can see the reason why it is good to pray. You can see the reason why it is good to cry to the Lord. Jotham, cry to the Lord. Say, let the flame fire come out of Abimelech and, and, and destroy Shechem. Let fire come out of Shechem and destroy Abimelech. Already they are cursing Abimelech. So finally, I say, God destroyed Abimelech for destroying his own brothers to get promotion. God destroyed Abimelech. You see, the Bible is very potent. The Bible is very powerful. In Revelation chapter 10, in chapter 13, verse 10, Re Revelation chapter 13, verse 10, the Bible says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That day, when Abimelech was killing his brothers, he didn't know that the same death that killed his brother was coming to kill him. The same people he gathered against his brothers were going to gather against him. This is life. And this is why you need to pray all the time. Thank God Jotan prayed. And God answered the prayer of Jotan. The Bible says, 
after three years. You see, sometimes, maybe you are like Jota. You have prayed one year, two years, three years. Nothing is happening. And you are, wait. He said the vision is for an appointed time. Write it on the table so that them that read it, they will run with it. He said it is for that is an appointed time. Even though it tarries, he said wait for it, for it shall surely come. All Jotan did was to pray. The Bible said he won't run away to go and hide somewhere. First month, second month, first year, second year, nothing happened. But on the third year, the Bible says the Lord sent evil spirits <laughs> into the camp of Abimelech and Shechem. And let us see how God destroyed him. In Judges chapter 9, which is very interesting, verse 50, the Bible says, Then went Abimelech to Tebesh. Of course, they had been fighting battles, all manner of battles. So he now went to Tebesh, Tebesh and encamped against Tebesh and took it. But there was a strong tower within the city. And Dita fled all the men and women. All the women of Tebes, they ran to a tower. Amen. <laughs> the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. You and I will run into the name of the Lord, the strong tower, and we shall be saved. We shall be saved from all persecutions of darkness. We shall be saved from all attacks of darkness in the strong tower of the living God. Look at, the Bible says, but there was a strong tower. Judges chapter 9, verse 50. Well, verse 51 now. But there was a strong tower within the city, and Dida fled all the men and women, and all they of the city, and shot it to them, and got them up to the top of the tower. Abimelech had gone to Tebesh and was destroying the people again, was fighting them, was killing them. But there was a tower, a tower in Tebesh. All the men ran. Amen. To the top of that tower. The Bible says, And Abimelech came onto the tower and fought against it. <laughs> Any power fighting against the tower of the Lord in your life shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, you have climbed the tower of the living God. Hallelujah. <laughs> the men ran to the tower, the high tower in Tebesh. And he didn't leave there. He still went to the tower. The place of refuge, the place of deliverance. Hallelujah. Amen. He still went there to attack them. But let us see what happened. The Bible says Abimelech came onto the tower and fought against it and went hard on the door of the tower to burn it with fire. All you need to do is to climb the high tower of the living God. He said the name of the Lord is a high tower. He said the righteous runs into it and they are saved. This is what is playing out in this particular scripture. Hallelujah. In this particular scripture. This was what, yes, the men in Tebes, they ran to a tall, a high tower. You and I are running to the tower. The name of the Lord is a high tower. The righteous runs into it. And they are saved. And what happened at the tower? The tower of deliverance. The tower of freedom. The tower of liberation. The tower of the name of Jesus. It's getting more interesting now. The Bible says, And a certain woman, a certain woman, the king that has been firing arrows using sword to kill thousands, a certain woman cast a piece of a millstone upon Abimelech's head. The stones of fire shall break the heads of your enemies in the name of Jesus. You are looking at me right now. All those that are tormenting you, Omuka, Kelicha, Jennifer, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. All those that are tormenting you now, the stones of fire will break their heads. In the name of Jesus, the stones of fire from the tower of the Lord will break their head, 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 will break their head. In the name of Jesus. The, the Bible says, and a certain woman cast a piece of millstone upon Abimelech's head. 
the man that has the king that has been fighting all this while, a woman's millstone. What happened to the head? Let's see. And all to break his skull. The head of your enemies shall break. The Lord shall break their skull. The Lord shall break their cheekbones. The Lord shall break their skull. All those that are tormenting you, all those that are using you, destroying you to get position and power, the Lord will break their cheekbones. The Lord will break their skull. The Lord will break their cheekbones. The Lord will break their skull. The Lord will break their cheekbones. The Lord will break their skull. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will break their skull. The Lord will break their cheekbones by His mighty power. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will break their skull. He will break their cheekbones. He will break their skull. He will break their cheekbones. All the stubborn enemies yes, that are destroying you in order to get position, in order to get power, in order to get prosperity, in order to get fame. They know we will break their cheekbones. It will break their skull. It will break their cheekbones. It will break their skull by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus. Then he called hastily unto the young man, his Amobiara, and said unto him, Draw thy sword. And slay me. The men say not of me. A woman slew him. He now said they call his armor bearer to come and slaughter him. Because the woman has used millstone. You know, from the high tower. The tower is very high. She dropped the millstone from the tower. It fell right on top of the head of Abimelech. Look at the God that we serve. How come that stone did not fall on the head of the, the armor bearer or one of the soldiers. How, how was the woman's stone able to locate the head of Abimelech? When God is fighting on your side, your stones will always locate the head of your enemies. Look at David and Goliath. The Bible says when they threw the stone, fear, it went straight into the forehead. Of, of Goliath. That's what they call guided missile in modern warfare. Guided missile. The stones were guided for the head of the, of the enemy. From today, the Lord will continue to guard, guide your stones of fire directly to the head of your enemies. The Lord will continue to guide your stones of fire. Whenever you throw, whether it is a millstone or a sling stone for the head of your enemies, the Lord will guide. It will be a guided missile. It will touch their head. It will break their head. Hallelujah. You now say, please, my armor cut off my... Pauline, Enoch sin, lasting. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You can see. A woman ended the battle. Thank God for, for women like Deborah. Amen. The Bible says she was telling Barak. I didn't even know that Barak, Barak's name is inside the Bible. Barak. He was calling, she was calling Barak. Deborah was, Barak, come and fight. What is wrong? You are supposed to be the general here. Barak in the Bible. And in that battle too, it was a woman that put nail into the head of that evil captain. Women. Women need to brace up in power. God has put a lot of power in the hands of women, especially women. Powerful warriors. Powerful warriors. Look at all the battle that has been going on this war. Abimelech had killed all his all the 69 of his brothers remaining just one. He had been killing the people of Shechem. He had been killing Chikaona. God bless you, sir. He had been killing everywhere. Killing, killing, killing everywhere. The millstone from a woman broke his head. Hallelujah. The Bora and Barak, they had been fighting. I think it was Senekari or somebody like that. Amen. He was running away, ran into the tent of a woman. He said, give me milk. The woman gave him milk. He was sleeping. The woman put nail and nailed his head. The woman ended the battle. The woman finished the enemy. All the women in this prayer meeting, you don't know you are ordained prayer warriors. 
you don't know that you are ordained warriors, especially women. Look at the battle they have been fighting. A woman, if she didn't even throw any spear, she didn't fire any arrow, millstone, the stone that she was using to grind pepper and spices, she just carried the stone. And the stone became a guided missile from the high tower. Hallelujah. He said, call the Amor Bihara to come and sleep so that they won't say it was a woman that killed him. Of course, it was a woman that killed him. We are reading it. Amen. He said, draw thy sword and slay me. That men say not of me. A woman slew me. Very proud man. Amen. And this young man trust him through and he died. And when the men of Israel saw that Abimelech was dead, Amen. When the men of Israel saw that Amalek was dead, they departed every man unto his place. The moment he died, that was the end. Amen. Thus God rendered the wickedness of Abimelech, which he did unto his father, in slaying his 70 brethren, and all the evil of the men of Shechem did God render upon their heads and upon them came the curse of Jotam, the son of Jerubal. Upon them came the curse of Jotam, the son of Jerubal. You can see how dangerous your prayers are. You can see how potent your prayers are, especially when you are crying before God against the enemies of your soul. Hallelujah. You can see. Look at look at that. Look at the story we started yesterday. Amen. We said we, the, the, the prayer topic was that, oh Lord, destroy those, destroy me to get promotion and power. Abimelech started in this story by killing all his brothers. Just one escaped. Who was Jotan? And he hired Shechem because the, the mother. The, the maid servant who was his mother was from Shechem. He hired the people of Shechem to help him carry out the atrocity. And Jotam went on top of a mountain. You are on your own mountain right now. You are on the mountain of prayer right now. You are on the mountain of deliverance right now. You are on the mountain of power right now. The Bible says Jotam cried to the Lord and cursed. He cursed Abimelech. And he cursed Ibu Shechem. They said, the two of you will use your fire to destroy each other. And true, true. That was what happened. Shechem found another leader in Gaul. Hallelujah. And they rose up against Abimelech. And Abimelech started fighting them. He was actually winning the battle. Because he was destroying them. He was killing them. Until they got to Tebes. And the Tebes. In Tebes was the high tower. And that is where we are going today. That is where we are going to be concluding today. The Bible says, the name of the Lord is a high tower. He said the righteous run into it and they are saved. Hallelujah. Who is that high tower? Amen. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is the high tower. Praise the Lord. Masakatare Boya. That is Proverbs 18.10. Proverbs 18.10. It said, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is saved. You are here. Mercy, God bless you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. You have heard it. Abimelech, the destroyer, the one that destroys. To become king. The one that destroys. To become prosperous. To get promotion. To get power. Was defeated. At the strong tower. At the high tower. Are you here today? And there are some terrible personalities. Like Abimelech. In your father's house. In your mother's house. In your inner house. In your place of birth. That is spiritually killing everybody. For position and power. You need the high tower to win the battle. 
And the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It's a high tower. Amen. The righteous runneth into it. And he's safe. The only way you can be saved from these satanic Abimelechs of your father's house that will not stop at anything in destroying just to get what they want is to run into the strong tower. And who is the strong tower? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. That strong tower is the Lord Jesus Christ. When you enter into the strong tower, the Bible says we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus above principalities and powers. That is what that tower symbolizes. When you give your life to Christ, it takes you to the strong tower, to the high tower. You are seated with him in heavenly places where the wicked can no longer touch you. But where you can throw ordinary millstone and break the head of the enemy. They were all running. Men and women running to the, to the high tower. They were running. He was killing them. They were running. Some were able to escape. And they climbed the high tower, which is a symbol of the Lord Jesus Christ in this particular prayer story. The Bible says he went to the wall, uh, to the, he went to the door of the tower. He was trying to burn it. He was trying to break it down. He was trying to burn it. It was his trying to burn it because they know that the moment he enters through that door, they are gone, they are, they are done for. Only God knows. Of course, that can only be God. Where did the woman get a millstone on top of a tower? A tower is usually is a watchtower where there's guards that's watching over the city. What was a millstone doing there? Did the woman run up there with a millstone? It's very possible that God himself placed it there. They have used all the weapons, but nothing was working against Abimelech. He was killing them. But a guided spiritual missile in the name of a millstone was guided to his head. Out of all the soldiers, everybody that was there, the woman was not a soldier. She was not a, a she was not a sharpshooter. She was not a sniper. Hey, look at the power of God. She was not even trained like, like David that could shoot sling. The, all the woman just did was just carry the stone. Just wanted to throw it on somebody's head. At least to kill one of them. And God directed the millstone to the head of Abimelech. The Lord will direct your stones of prayers to the head of your enemies. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will guide your stones of prayers to the head of your enemies. The way he did it with this woman, the way he did it with David, he will guide your stones of prayers even to the head of your enemies and shall break their heads into pieces. Beloved, you have heard the story since yesterday. And I know there are a lot of sons of Jerubal like this. And Abimelech the son of maid servant is tormenting their souls. Sometimes it is the bastard of your father's house that is troubling your life and your destiny. Why? Because they are so embittered because of what has happened to them in the course of life. They have gone to acquire terrible powers and they are dealing with anybody and anything in their house. Hallelujah. You can see, he had no sympathy for the house. He was a bastard. He didn't belong there. He was just a son of a maid servant. He didn't care. He was ready to bury and destroy anything. That was why he killed 70 sons of Jerubah, his own brothers. Are you here? Are you being tormented by some very strong personalities in your father's house? Somebody once called me and said, my uncle is occultic. In fact, he doesn't, he's even boasting about it. 
If you don't do what he wants, he will deal with you. I said, really? And we started praying. And God answered our prayers. God will always answer your prayers. Like Jota, God answered his prayer. God released an evil spirit and troubled the camp of the enemy and destroyed them. Samuel, I daily, God bless you, you are welcome. And destroyed them. And killed the enemy, the head of the serpent. Abimelech was the head of the serpent. Every head of the serpent of your father's house shall die by thunder. In the name of Jesus, every head of the serpent of your father's house, of your mother's house, of your in-law's house, of your place of birth, shall die by thunder, shall die by thunder, shall die by thunder, shall die by thunder. Every head of household wickedness in your father. It says, strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. They will all perish by fire. In the name of Jesus, their leader will perish. Their leader will perish. The leader of wickedness. Pray, pray this prayer. Somebody say, pray this prayer. Say, the oh Lord, my father, let the leader of wickedness I I I the of Hale. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Let all the leaders of wickedness of my father's house, of my mother's house, of my in-law's house perish by fire in the order of this Abimelech. In the name of Jesus, let them perish by fire. All the leaders of wickedness, all the supervisors of wickedness, all the coordinators of wickedness in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in-law's house, in my place of birth, in this land of America. Father, let them perish by fire. All the coordinators, the supervisors of wickedness, the leaders, the chairman, the directors of wickedness in my foundation. Let them perish by fire. In the order of this Abimelech, Father, turn the stones of fire and break their heads. Let hailstones begin to break their heads. Let hailstones of fire begin to break their heads. Let hailstones of fire begin to break their heads. Head. So finally, beloved, you saw, it was this tower that saved them from the hand of destructive Abimelech. You too. Look for the tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. You need that tower. You need to run into that tower. That is your place of refuge. That is the place of your succor. That's the only place where you can be protected. That is the only place where you can be saved. That is the place you can call the secret place of Mr. Banako. The secret place of his most high, and it is the Lord Jesus Christ. Surrender your life to Jesus. You need it. He is the one that can fight these satanic Abimelechs, these Goliaths, Aaron's, Pharaoh, Jezebels of your father's house that will not stop at nothing. Look at Jezebel. The husband made the wanted the vineyard of Naboth. She plotted and killed the man. Because of the because of the vineyard. And you know how what she did? She raised men to say that Naboth blasphemed against God. They used the name of God to kill an innocent soul. Is it not happening in our world today? Where people are using the name of God to commit atrocities, to kill, to slander, to commit libel. The name of God. The name of God, which is a strong tower. The name of God. The name of God. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. All you need to do so that you will not remain a beggar, you will not remain a crawler for the rest of your life. So that these powers that are destroying you to get fame, to get position, to get prosperity, to get power, so that they will not reduce you to rubbles, so that they will not turn you into the shadow of yourself, a caricature of yourself. You need Jesus, the high tower, the strong tower, the place of refuge, the place of attack, the place of defense. And all you need to do is just to surrender your life to him. The Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as my Lord and my Savior. I accept you today as my Lord and my Master. I reject every other God. I reject worldliness and I embrace godliness. Lord Jesus, take over my life. I have become your new property. Oh yes. And every power, any spirit 
that may want to claim ownership of my life from today. Lord Jesus, destroy them with the fire in your blood. In the name of Jesus. And Lord Jesus, let your blood, the cleansing power in your blood, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. That's all. You are saved. So if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart, you are saved of it. Hallelujah. Let us begin to thank God for all he has done for us in this prayer meeting. We started yesterday and the Lord showed us mercy. The Lord opened our eyes. Hallelujah. How men and women, evil men and women, destroy others just to get promotion and power. Just like Abimelech buried all his brothers because he wanted to become king. Hallelujah. I pray for you. They will not destroy you. Amen. Before you begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, he said there were about 70 brothers. Only one lived to tell the tales. Only one escaped. Only one was able to pray. In fact, for the mere fact that Jotan prayed, which means he must have been a prayer warrior. Maybe that was even why he escaped in the four sisters. The Bible says, in the midst of adversity, there shall be a way of escape. In the midst of adversity, there shall be a way of escape. Beloved, don't joke with your life. You must be on fire 24-7. <laughs> because we are in the midst of adversities. You must be ready and be prepared to escape at any time. Just like Jotan escaped from the destructive hand of his half-brother, Abimelech. Who knows who is looking for you? Who knows who wants to finish you? Who knows who wants to bury you? Who knows who is looking at your glory? Who is looking at your fame? Who is looking at your prosperity? Who is looking at your virtues? Who is looking at your potentials? And they see that it is intimidating. They want it for themselves. They want and they want to kill you just to have it. Who knows who is following you? But I pray for you that the Lord will open your eyes to see them. In the name of Jesus. In your dream, in your sleep. In your visions, in your revelations, begin to see them. Let God begin to expose to you all those that are following you in order to destroy you so that they can take from you that which belongs to you. Let God open your eyes to see them, to know them in your sleep, in your dream, in your visions, in your revelations. Let your eyes pop open. The Bible says in Proverbs 29, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. You can imagine. Uh, I'm sure all those brothers would have been romancing Abimelech. They would have been playing with Abimelech, not knowing that they were playing with death, not knowing that they were playing with a serpent. Hallelujah. Yes, he was the half brother. So he must have been fellowshipping with them, you know, partying with them, not knowing that he was plotting their death. What is going on around you? Is anyone around you plotting your destruction? Is anyone around you plotting your death just because of what you have? The Lord will expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Yet the Lord will kill them before they kill you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will destroy them before they destroy you. For the brothers of Abimelech, it was too late. He killed them. If not for the mercy of God on Jotam that escaped. Those ones died. May you not die in the hands of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody in this. You will not die in the hands of your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, Lord God, in heaven, we just thank you. We just bless you, Lord God. Father, we need you every hour. We need you, Lord. We cannot do without you. Ha! Father, we cannot do without you. Not in, with this army of wickedness that surrounds us. Father, continue to protect us. Continue to shield us. Continue to be a wall of fire around us and around every member of our household. In the name of Jesus, do not allow these wicked, wicked personalities prevail against us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just say, I cover myself, my wife and my children with the blood of Jesus. These wicked personalities will not prevail against us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I, my wife and my children, my family and my descendants will run into the name of the Lord, the strong tower, and we are saved by the power in the blood of Jesus. 
you will continue to run into the strong tower and you will continually be saved. Jesus will continue to save you in the name of Jesus. Those that want to eat you up for position, they will not succeed in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and thank God for Mountain of Fire Miracles in Tampa, Florida. Yes, where this hour of deliverance power program is uh, is, 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 is coming, is streaming from. Let's just thank God for the church. Let's thank God for the members. Father, we thank you for the church, MFM Tampa, Florida. We thank you for the pastor, the ministers, the workers, the members, uh, even the online members. Let your glory continue to overshadow us all. In the name of Jesus, overshadow our families. All those that are ill, that came to this platform ill, Father, let your healing power overshadow them. Let the blood of Jesus overshadow everyone that came for this prayer meeting and let the source of sickness die. In Tracy Desmond, you are welcome. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Father, everyone that has come to this prayer meeting, let them go back home with fire, burning in their blood, in their water, in their flesh, in their bones, and let it destroy every plantation and deposit of, of, of affliction in their bodies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for MFM Tampa, Florida. We continue to grow like wildfire in the name of Jesus. You will build the church and the gate of hell will not prevail against it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for every member of this church will prosper in whatever they lay their hands upon to do in the mighty name of all of us. All of us will prosper by the power in the blood of Jesus. And every time we pray, just like Jota, the Lord will continue to honor our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and thank God for our Father and the Lord, Dr. Daniel Kolawole Lukoya. We will continue to pray for him. Yes, the Lord, Linet, Aileen, God bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord, the hand of God will continue to be upon Dr. Lukoya. Uh, Mommy Olukoya and their children uh, shall be well with them. The Lord will continue to be a wall of fire around them in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Lord will continue to encourage them. The glory of God will continue to overshadow them in the name of Jesus. These wicked agents of darkness will not succeed in pulling them down in the name of Jesus. Every power, and I'm praying against powers now, every power that wants to pull Dr. Lukoya down shall be pulled down, shall be buried in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that wants to discourage his wife, that wants to put the woman in, in a worry state, the Lord will arrest such powers. The blood of Jesus will destroy such powers in the name of Jesus. Because what those powers don't understand, don't understand that these are human beings and things can easily affect their minds. I pray that the, the Lord, the, you know, the blood of Jesus will envelop their minds. Uh, the arrow of, uh, of worry will not penetrate in the name of Jesus. They will continue to be solid in the Lord, in the word of God. They will make heaven, they will complete their assignments. And MFM, Mountain of Fire, Miracles Ministries Worldwide, will continue to work stronger and stronger. I will continue to do the assignment that is committed into our hands in the name of Jesus. Let us thank God for our land. Father, we thank you for our land. We cover our land with the blood of Jesus. We thank you because you have answered our prayers. We pray, just like Jotam, we prayed for our land and we know you have answered. All the evil doers put curses on them. Let the, let the fire of the enemy begin to destroy them. Father, all the enemies in our land, let them destroy themselves. Friendly fire in the mighty name. Friendly fire. Friendly fire. Let the enemies fire themselves. In the, just like Abimelech and Shechem were firing themselves. Let our enemies in this land fire themselves, destroy themselves, bury themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you may be, just cover the leader of that country or that land with the blood of Jesus. I'm in America right now. I cover President Trump, Donald Trump, with the blood of Jesus. I pray he shall be well with him. The hand of God shall rest upon him. The Lord will deliver him. The Lord will bless him in the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will lead him and direct him. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that the forces of darkness will not hijack his might. In the name of Jesus, Lucifer will not hijack his might. The Lord Jesus Christ will continue to speak to him. He will not hear the voice of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, and I pray, especially regarding the coming elections 
on the 3rd of November, let the will of God be done in the name of Jesus. If the will of God is Trump, so be it in the name of Jesus. If the will of God is Biden, so be it in the name of Jesus. It is God that installed kings, not men. Father, Lord God in heaven, I pray. We will not behave like Israel. They started asking for king when they didn't need the king. And they faced trouble thereafter. My Lord and my Father, let it be your choice for this land. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will pray concerning the coronavirus. Father, have mercy. Uh, let the blood of Jesus paralyze the power behind this pandemic. In the name of Jesus. Save us and save every member of our household, even from this destruction. In the name of Jesus. We will not die. We will live to declare the works of the living God. In the name of Jesus. No one in this prayer platform will die of coronavirus. If anyone is already infected, let the blood of Jesus swallow the virus in their body. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy every symptom, every affliction that is going on in their body right now. In the name of Jesus. Especially all our health workers, our doctors, our nurses, or the caregivers, the first responders. We cover them all with the blood of Jesus. The Lord will continue to protect them and protect their families. As they save others, they will not perish. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. And I also pray that this weekend shall be filled with uncommon testimonies, uncommon breakthroughs for me, for you, for your family, for my family, for the entire church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Until Monday again, when we see, have a beautiful weekend, a testimony-filled weekend, signs and wonders-filled weekend, the kind of testimony that you have never experienced before, that I, my wife, and my children have never experienced before, we shall all experience them this weekend in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us share the grace now. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Samuel, bye-bye. God bless you, sir. Thank you for joining the prayer meeting. Let's shout seven powerful hallelujah. 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 Shalom, Sister Mercy. God bless you in the name of Please continue to observe the social distancing rules. Continue to cover your face with mask if you have to go out, out of your house. Continue to wash your hands. Continue to sanitize yourself. Hallelujah. And continue to keep six feet, seven feet, whatever feet you can keep. Nothing, not minimum, or anything more, six feet more. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Don't worry. The blood of Jesus will continue to protect us all and every member of our families in the name of Jesus. And between now and Monday, have a beautiful and a wonderful time with your families in the name of Jesus. If Jesus tarries, we shall see 12 noon on Monday, Florida time, by the special grace of God. I will hear your testimonies. You will hear my testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a lovely, lovely 